Hey guys, it's time to take a look at the iOS 10 beta on the iPhone 6. So I did make a video on other iPhones like 5S, 6S and the SE. Uh, so I know a lot of people have the iPhone 6 and they really want to install it. Uh, so first, uh, the thing is that it's running pretty good here. I uh, haven't seen any problem on the 6. You can see we get all the stuff um, from the uh, features from the iOS 10. Let's see if there is two-way feature works here or not. Okay, so seems like the raised two-way feature is uh, not for the 6, you know. So we can just uh, confirm that by going into display and brightness. So you can see no raised two-way feature is there. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, it's uh, really restricted to devices which have Apple A9 chipset. And uh, this is the uh, score we are getting on the iOS 10. I think it's a uh, little bit improved compared to the iOS 9 uh, versions, which is pretty good. Uh, you know, normally the iPhones, they get slower when we update them to the latest version. Uh, you can also see here uh, the, the control center looking really nice. And of course, we don't have 3D touch integration. So, yeah, I mean, we can't change the sensitivity of the bright, uh, I mean, the, the torch here. So we can just turn it on and nothing happens so while on the 6s if i show you guys here real quickly you can see with the 3d touch you have the option of low medium and high intensity so which is pretty nice and 3d touch works on all these uh toggles okay you can see your last results same thing with the camera so i mean apple is really uh taking the 3d touch feature to the next level with the ios 10 so i'm just going to turn off this torch and uh, let's talk about uh how the performance is you know should you install it or not i think if you have the iphone 6 as your only iphone you know then i think you should have to wait a little bit uh, but if you're like me and you can't wait to install it, then uh, give it a try. It's not that bad. I mean, it's not going to have like major problems. You can use it. Um, the Photos app, the memory thing, you know, it's there. Uh, but uh, let me just show you here. If you go into memories and get started, it's going to take a while and gather all the photos from like a road trip or something like that, you know, relevant photos. It kind of like, it's uh, very similar to Sony's gallery app or HTC Zoe app, so a lot of people are saying that Apple has copied, you know, I might make video on that topic, but, uh, but yeah, it's currently scanning. Okay, so after one minute, it is done. It says best of last three months, so I'm just going to check it, and there you go. It crashes. It happens on all the iPhones, so I mean, definitely this will be fixed in the uh, later versions. So yeah, give it a try if you really want to have it. Uh, like I said, if you have like a spare iPhone, you can do that, of course, on that. Uh, I'm not saying that it's going to crash all the time, but, uh, you know, if you have iPhone as your main phone, then I think you should wait. Uh, but, yeah, features are really, really good. The keyboard, they have uh, add a lot of features to the messaging app, uh, as well as uh, the maps. Uh, we have also changed changes to the Apple Music, got some new tabs down there. So I talked about this these features in, uh, in all my videos. I made a separate video about 10 major new features on the iOS 10, so you can check that out on my channel. So, yeah, uh, just a quick little look here. I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out.